we go, we're going into transition, and I call it transition to greatness. It's going to be transition to greatness because we're going to do something very fast. And the number of death cases in the U.S. had exceeded to 80,000, but Trump had put forward the slogan of transition to greatness, requiring all states to reopen. You're talking about what would be permanent economic damage to the American public. It would put them at higher risk. That's about 90 million adults, or a third of the adults in this country. The urgency of the U.S. economic restart is understandable. According to the Times, in the past three months, the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits has reached 33.5 million and is still rising. However, the epidemic situation in the U.S. remains severe. The number of daily confirmed cases is still around 20,000, and the mortality rate is as high as 6%. American medical experts have warned many times that reopening at this time is likely to trigger a second wave of the pandemic. If the epidemic outbreaks again, it will inevitably make the situation of minorities and other vulnerable groups even more difficult. In the United States, only 13.4% of the population is African-American, but the data shows that they also take up 58% of COVID-19 death cases. Perhaps the White House is ready to sacrifice this large numbers of lives to achieve a transition to greatness. If this is the case, it's really a great irony of American democracy.